Hey yo, it's Omnidog here with an overview of Madman Volume 1, The Mad Maniverse Library Edition from Dark Horse. And this is without the dust jacket. Here is the dust jacket I took off before we show the book. Very nice dust jacket. And it shows the price here. Whoop, there you go. And gives you a little idea of what's going on in it. Uh, this is a very large book. It's uh, considered a library edition from Dark Horse. Uh, here's the spine. Here's what the binding looks like. I'll show you the binding when it's open. It comes with a ribbon. And it's so big that I highly recommend you relax the spine. Uh, to relax the spine properly, go to the Omnibus Collector's video on that. Relaxing the spine. He made it a long time ago. Teaches you how, very easy, how to relax the spine. I'd show you, but that's not what this video is about. So make sure you relax the spine on this book. My main job in this is to show you what Madman, the, the book, looks like and to get you to consider getting it. I don't get a kickback from Mike Allred or Laura Allred or Dark Horse. I just happen to love Madman. Very nice table of contents from the very beginning for the record. Mad Mad Adventures, Mad Mad Comics, uh, They, which... I believe uh, hadn't been published before. It's included in this. Uh, there's all kinds of extras, and there are pinups throughout the book by uh, famous artists. Now, this book is so big, I'm going to have to move it around to get it all in, but you'll get a good idea of how beautiful this is. Here's the first pinup, it's by Darwin Cook. And. We start off, you learn the origin of Madman and why he wears the costume. It's to cover his face because he's got, he got in an accident that has left him quite scarred up. Although he does have a very nice head of hair. I will say that. Um, he uses special yo-yos as weapons. He does kill and does... Uh, maim and hurt people but the main thing to remember about frank einstein that's his name that was given to him and you'll find out uh how he was um not created but given this identity uh, this is all explained in this he ha and the main thing to remember is he has a good heart and wants to do well for people he wants to help people so he's wearing this costume in this first issue, and it's uh, here he is spying <laughs> on Josephine, Joe, his crush, and that she figures out uh, figures throughout the book. Uh, they end up uh, meeting in dire circumstances and falling in love. This is, of course, creepy. Um, and the let me just say in the first book first issue, Mike Allred does drop uh, a couple of offensive words, the N-word and uh, an offensive word to homosexuals, the F-word. They are in context to show how mean people can be and how much it hurts Frank's soul that people are mean to each other. He wants people to just be nice to each other. That's what it says here. The moral, it's this simple, folks. Be good to each other. If others aren't good to you, maybe you can at least give yourself solace in knowing you've got the character to be the, your best. So Mike Allred has created a character uh, that has a lot of good in him and wants to do well for everyone. 
So here he is with Josephine. Uh, and the first story, uh, it, it's very understandable, very relatable. It gets, it gets philosophical at a lot of points, but it's very easy to follow. Uh, there are some bad guys, and he needs to get certain notes from the bad guys that can help him discover his origin uh, and, and help him with uh, the people, the good guys that he meets up with. They need the papers that he has so they can continue their experiments and help him recover his memory. Uh, they know who he is, but they need to help him figure out who he is. Uh, so this is, these are the early drawings where he uses a slingshot as a weapon and he uses uh, his yo-yos for a weapon. One thing is he has the ability that he gained. Uh, once he touches you, sometimes he can tell what you're thinking, what's going on in your life, and possibly your future. Uh, that's, the, that's the ability, and he's very fast. He has very fast reflexes. He's quick thinking. Um, and it's a very easy to follow action, superhero, madcap, fun book. Uh, if you, uh, Mike Allred has a great sense of humor. There's a, a lot of uh, dried uh, kind of jokes in this. This is, um, uh, he doesn't like to kill, but, and he says, I've killed again. Um, but sometimes he does kill. Uh, he, he wants to uh, um, find out who he is and help people in, this, in the very beginning. Then in the middle is where he sets out on adventures. He ends up uh, becoming very good friends with, whoops, I bumped the camera, sorry about that. He becomes extremely close to Josephine, who makes several different costumes for him, all with the lightning bolt, and you'll learn where the lightning bolt is from, and he goes from covered head to his, right here in this part, in the fight where he's <laughs> falling out of the sky, bouncing from parachute to parachute, he uh, loses the top and his hair comes out and this is the look he now has forever with his boss hair hanging out. He's trying, these are the bad guys and he's trying to uh, capture them. Here is where he and Joe uh, realize they're in love and she doesn't think he's weird or ugly. She's very pretty and likes him for who he is and it's very sweet. And they, they do have all sorts of creatures in this, all sorts of interesting robots and aliens, uh, costume changes. One thing that's a constant is great art. Look at the difference in this art from the beginning. Very tight, very clean. And of course, Laura Allred, his wife, does the coloring and it's beautiful. Let me see if I can get the glare off of this. So, oh, I made it worse. Uh, there we go. So you see how he's tightened up his art and it's brilliant. And here he is shaking some guy's hand and experiencing what is in this guy's brain. So let me just show you a little bit more. As I said, he has uh, allies that help him throughout the book, including Josephine, a couple of scientists, scientist assistant. He runs into all kinds of trouble. He figures his way out of trouble. It's very easy to read. Very fun. Uh, I am very excited that there are going to be six volumes of this. Uh, they're all going to be in chronological order. And the presentation is perfect. So now I'm going to shut up and just show you some art.
Uh, and here he crosses over with Hellboy. I forgot about that. I forgot it happened that early. Here's by Bruce Tim. This is Boss. But yeah, here he meets Hellboy. There we go. Charles Burns does a portrait here, facial, the bust, head drawing, whatever. Big Mad, this is called Big Mad Brainorama. Get this centered again. And you, again, you can see how sharp and much better. The lettering is much better. Uh, the art is tighter. The backgrounds are more interesting. This is uh, something that is well thought through. And as I say, he wants to help people. He has a good soul, a good heart. Some people get hurt on the way there. It's... Uh, Got a lot of fun humor, but anybody can enjoy Madman. It's not hard at all to get into it. This makes it very easy to get into it because it takes you from the very beginning and explains everything. And it is just fun. I have a blast reading Madman. I highly recommend it to everybody. Now, some people are not fans of Mike Allred's art, and that is, of course, subjective, and you are totally entitled to that opinion. So this may not appeal to you. Um, so this video is probably not for you. But those of us who like Mike Allred's art and his writing, this is Nirvana. So see how complex... It gets now. He's really feeling it now. He, Mike Allred, is leaning into it, really knows how to put an interesting layout together, make things exciting, make things fun, uh, get your pulse pounding excitement in there with romance and thrilling action adventure. And I said I would show you here's some of the extras. that are in the back. But let me show you the binding. Let me get to the middle. And I will show you what it looks like opened up with the eye hole. That's a darn good eye hole right there. Binding is tight. This thing's not gonna fall apart. And as I said before, it's got a ribbon. My advice, get into the Mad Maniverse library edition and prepare yourself to have a blast thanks for watching this has been omnidog please feel free to leave a comment please uh, hit the like button uh, subscribe and uh, tune in for more madcap adventures on omnidog's vault because we like to look at books that are fun and interesting and things that i think you'll like so until next time Peace and love. Peace and love.